I just want to know that you're all right. OK, bye. Should I ask her? Nope. I wasn't sure whether it would be a good time to come back or not, but then I guess there never is a good time. So I was just kind of waiting for things to blow over. And do you think things have blown over? No. Frank's more nervous than me. I mean, he's already lost you. He's terrified about Tracy and Vanessa finding out. Well, they won't find out from me. But if he cared about his family, if he cared about anyone other than himself, he wouldn't get involved in those pathetic scams. Yeah, you're right. Not here to fight his battles. No. You're here to fight your own. Look, I, I understand if he's still upset with me, but honestly, it was Clive. OK, you have got no idea how persuasive he can be. It's me and men, in it. Layla strikes again. You have no idea how upset I am. Look, whatever I've got coming, I deserve it. But I can put it right. I know I can. Cos I have had some great ideas about moving forward. You know, just like different markets that we could tap stop. into. Stop, look, just and... please stop. You can't just put this right. Yeah, but it I... doesn't work like that. Look, I don't trust you anymore. What are you saying? I'm saying I don't want to move forwards with you. Do you seriously think that I could work with you again after this? I want you out of the business, Layla. I'm sorry, you cannot just kick me out, OK? I am a partner and I own 50%. And what's 50% of nothing? Because that's what we'll both end up with. I'm not going to let you do this. Well, you can fight me all you like. The alternative is I tell everybody what you did. You've left me no choice. <laughs>